I'm Diana Artene, PhD in Oncology Nutrition, and I will present in short fat loss solutions for overweight breast cancer patients with sleep disturbances. Obesity associates less efficacy during chemotherapy, anastrozole, and fulvestrin treatments, and more side effects during all stages of breast cancer treatment. And by the detrimental metabolic impact, sleep quality must be addressed to help patients improve oncologic outcome because insufficient sleep decreases fat loss and amplifies muscle loss. But breast cancer patients don't have to lose weight for the sake of weight loss. To improve prognosis, they must lose fat without losing muscle, sarcopenia being as strongly associated with decreased survival as high adiposity. Seeking solutions, we randomized 50 patients with sleep disturbances, 16 of which had depression, to follow a moderately high protein diet or the diet plus a sleep journal intervention. Patients ate only when hungry, foods naturally high in protein, calcium, omega-3 fatty acids, pre- and probiotics, and half were asked to write a seven-day sleep journal. Based on their answers, we asked them to follow set sleeping and wake-up hours and to not sleep during the day. Patients wrote a daily food log, and after eight weeks, we remeasured body composition with a BIA scale. In two months, diet group lost 2.3 body fat and 0.7% visceral fat, while the diet plus sleep journal group lost 2.1 body fat and 0.8% visceral fat, both with no muscle loss based on the higher protein intake in consensus with SPEN guidelines. There was no fat loss difference between patients with or without depression in the diet group, but depressive patients in the diet plus sleep journal group obtained no statistically significant results, neither for weight loss nor for fat loss. And besides the overtiring effect of the sleep journal intervention, this might happen for three reasons. First, the sedative effect also affects the body, our depressive patients reporting less drive to practice sport. Second, antidepressants decrease it pleasure and many people are compensating this with overeating followed by self-imposed restrictive dieting and third depression itself is tied up with leptin resistance increasing cravings and decreasing satiety which can lead to episodes of emotional eating in conclusion breast cancer patients with sleep disturbances can lose weight but physical exercise and psychological support are very important in patients with depression so let's keep in mind that breast cancer treatment is a team sport thank you